Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Thor Vigime Thormlas on this wonderful Thursday. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, man, the, the weather feels, uh, the temperature feels great. I like the temperature. Temperature is like, uh, I don't know, in, in the 70s, maybe low 60s, but it's rain. It's a lot of rain. It's raining here and there. Periodically, it just rains real heavy and then it stops. And then the birds chirp. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, otherwise, it's a good day. <sighs> I tell you about those who did not have a good day. Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan, lifted by Trader Joe's militia slash and covered dead regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at a gate, killed by Afghanistan, along with two other poor souls, three plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them service members as well. Every day, never forget, and never forget who's what this is. And yes, deploy knife heads. <laughs> But there was hope, folks getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exodus, Project Nano Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. And at least we forget that uh, 700, 800 plus people are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle to keep arresting more. Hell, there's political prisoners, well, sentencing without bail and torture, solitary confinement conditions, constant interrogation. Someone lost an eye. There have been suicides. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, definitely deploy more knife hands. <laughs> right. <sighs> hmm. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, the the ruling from the bat fee. Uh, if you don't know who the bat fee is, take off the B, take off the E. Uh, the, the the bureau, you know, the bureau uh, of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, and explosives. Hmm, explosives too. Yes. Uh, the Bureau. Uh, anyway, uh, they, they just came out with a ruling that uh, private sales are unlawful? Really? I mean, I, I heard this from Guns and Gadgets. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they're going to get too far with this. How are you going to regulate it? I, I mean, I, I just... How are you going to regulate someone selling a, a, a firearm? It doesn't matter what kind it is. I don't care what kind it is. You, you, you can't. You, there's no way you can regulate a private sale. There's no way. First off, how are you going to know about it? You're not going to know about it till months, years, decades later. You know, are, are you going to go to... They don't even know who owns guns most of the time. I mean, there's, there's a lot they don't know. So... For them to just make this decree, are, are, seriously? I mean, you know, that, that means that if if you go to a gun show and go to a, and, and you're walking around with, with something, you know, your old daddy shotgun uh, slung around your shoulder with a price tag that says $200, and some guy goes, hey, I like that. I'll give you $200 for that. You are now a, a criminal in the eyes of the bat fee, in the eyes of, you know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that ain't right. And <laughs> we could talk about all things like Chevron deference and all these things, all these terms that come up. But, you know, at some point in time, you, you just got to say, I'm not complying. And uh, I, 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 I'm pretty sure most people are going to do that. I mean, you know, what are you supposed to do? Take your take your firearm to an FFL so they can charge you to to make sure that there's some type of background check? I mean, you know, do your due diligence. Can I see your ID? Yeah. Got any, uh, got any, uh, did you do anything? You know, did you, uh, you, know, you ever been, yeah, are you a convict? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because if you are, you get this gun, you can go to jail. I go to jail. No, no, no. Right, and then you know it's 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 all convoluted, and, and, and don't even get me started about you know convicts with guns. Uh, you know, I, I, if if Grandma can have a gun, if little Timmy can have a gun, why can't a convict have a gun? I mean, yeah, yeah a, a gun is a gun. It's a tool. It's a tool. You just like a hammer, just like a a a, a, a saw, anything like it's a tool. It's I I can do the same thing. I, I, I can create hate and discontent with a hammer and a saw 
as opposed to anything. I mean, it's just the same. It's it's all about the intent. Do you see? Do you feel me? It's all about the intent, not the tool. Yes, the tool may can make, you got to have the right tool for the job, but you can make just about in, in in the case of murder, you can just about make anything a tool for that job. So, but you, you see what this is about. Right? Demoralization, destabilization, crisis, and normalization. So, yeah, I mean, they have to, they have to erode and, and, and take away our 2A. I mean, look at all the other countries that, they, that that's happened to. And look where they're at now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? So, I, I, I don't know what else is going on. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I think this is just a bunch of uh, ludicrous... Ludicrousness. Uh, so, <coughs> yes. So, uh, I got to get back to work. Go, Team Linda. Go, Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She's kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. Go, Team Linda. Uh, go, Joe. Go, Team Joe's mama. Go, Team Joe's mama. Uh, go check out um, Joe Morgan's channel and go give him some love and support. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.